to Satviko's Food Yoga Nutrition Talks where we discuss the importance of nutrition in the yoga practice. Myself Meghna, a yogi at Satviko. And today I have with me Lara who is a certified yoga teacher with a bachelor's in film and master's in art history. Nice, that's quite interesting. She completed her yoga teacher's training course with Yoglav. She has been teaching with an online yoga studio and also takes private classes independently. She is currently based in New York and Paris and she is working on opening up her own online yoga studio in the near future. Hi Lara, how are you doing today? Hi. I'm great, thank you for that intro. How <laughs> welcome. are you? I'm also doing good. It's great to have you with us. So Lara, let's quickly um, Start. Mm -hmm. We would love to hear about how you took up yoga and how has been your journey so far. What motivated me to start yoga in the first place is that I used to suffer from severe allergies to a point where I had difficulty breathing and I tried different kinds of medication, none of them worked, some had pretty nasty side effects and I was looking into alternative methods of how to cope with my allergies. And I read that yoga, especially pranayama, helps with helps to alleviate symptoms. Um, so I decided to give it a try. And the first practice was very hard to get through because breath is such an important part of yoga and I couldn't breathe through my nose. But I pushed through and I completed the practice. And even after just one practice of yoga, I felt a difference in my breathing pattern. So I decided to give it a try. And I did yoga for two weeks every day for about an hour. And after those two weeks, most of my symptoms were gone. I could easily breathe through my nose, which was like a Herculean task before. And I realized that I need to continue and that's how it all started. Wow, amazing. So nice to hear your, uh, the way you recovered through your practice. Lovely, lovely. So during this journey of yours, how did you take care of nutrition? I started to be interested in nutrition around the same time um, as just a part of um, living healthier, living better, helping with my allergies. And I started to research of what healthy food is, how one should eat. And it took me a lot of experimenting because I really think that experimenting here is the key. Everyone has a different makeup, we all respond to foods differently. So it's very important to find what works for you personally. And that's exactly what I did. And I found that plant-based diet works best for me. Um, and I just continued um, looking into how I can improve my eating habits just based on that. Wonderful, wonderful. Plant-based nutrition. Nice. That's nice. Uh, so I was just wondering, is there something different that you um, are practicing pre or post your yoga practice? In terms of nutrition, pre-practice, I, I try to do yoga on an empty stomach. I feel like it works best, but if I have to have something, it'll be something light like um, banana, maybe 20, 30 minutes before the practice. Um, post practice, um, it'll be something that has a good amount of healthy fats and protein to help me recover after the practice. So maybe as a snack, some nuts, seeds, um, healthy bar, um, or if I'm going for a meal, it'll be something like maybe a salad with lentils, um, some nice healthy fats, um, maybe some rice with sauteed vegetables, um, tofu, something like that. Nice, wonderful, quite. That's that's very nice variety that you have. All right. So um, I was wondering that as a yoga practitioner, you must be having some goals, right? So how do you currently fulfill your nutrition requirement? And how is this nutrition requirement helping you improve your yoga practice? Um, my nutrition, well, my goals generally from the beginning were pretty simple. Um, I just wanted to eat healthy and find foods that make me feel good 
and give me enough energy for practice and give me enough energy and focus throughout the day. I find a plant-based diet works best. That's what I predominantly plant-based and I include a lot of vegetables and um, healthy fats in my diet. In terms of how nutrition affects yoga practice, um, if we put spiritual benefits of yoga aside and think of nutrition and yoga or nutrition and any other physical movement for that matter, they help uh, to increase endurance, they help you keep your energy levels up during your practice, they help you recover faster. Um, but also if we think of yoga beyond the physical aspect, it suggests a certain lifestyle, right? It's a healthy lifestyle where you live longer, you live better, and nutrition is such a big part of that. Um, that where you make conscious choices about what you consume, knowing how it will affect you later on. Yeah. Lovely point about the different aspects of yoga. Completely agree with you on that. So uh, now that we've talked about pre and post yoga nutrition, what according to you qualifies as a pre or a post yoga meal or a snack? Would you like to uh, give some suggestions? Um, so as a pre yoga snack has to be something very light, something that is easily digested. So fruits would be best, I think. As a post yoga snack, um, something that has a bit of protein, fats like nuts, maybe some roasted mm -hmm. beans, a healthy bar. And meal-wise, it has to have a good balance of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. So something like maybe a salad with lentils, some nuts, or um, lentils with sauteed vegetables, um, with some ghee. I think that's, yeah. um, that's usually my go-to on a daily All basis. Good all good suggestions you know we have this awesome collection of pre and post snacks and meals at Satviko, like antioxidants makhana endurance and strength instant meals so maybe you would like to try some sometime definitely yes i would love to give it a try i'm always looking for something uh, new to try and experiment with yeah variety is always good nice yeah what would you like to recommend to your community of yoga lovers to fulfill their nutrition requirement? One tip or one recommendation that you would like to give out? One recommendation that I would like to give is sticking to the 80-20 rule. As in 80% of the time eating healthy, 20% of the time indulging because we're all humans. We all have cravings and we want to go out with our friends. We want to enjoy our time with our family. And it's very important and it's absolutely fine as long as we're sticking to a healthier diet for the majority of time, because at the end of the day, what matters is what you do on a daily basis versus what you do sometimes. Nice, that's actually some very practical advice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lara, for your time, Thank your you, valuable Magna. insights. We will be organizing more such food yoga nutrition talks. We will love to hear from you and answer your questions and queries. You can either DM us, mail us or comment below. Thank you so much. It was actually so great much. connecting with you after a long time. Thank you. Yes, it's been a while. Thank you so much, Mike. Now. Thank you. Have a good day.